Caribbean states have been making the case for further assistance at a United Nations conference on combating the illicit trade in small arms. According to the UN, the global scourge from the illicit trade in small arms and ammunition continues to wreak havoc. Speaking on behalf of CARICOM, Vincentian UN Ambassador Camilo Gonzalez said that the issue of the illicit trafficking in light weapons was a high priority for the region. He said Caribbean nations lacked the required technological and institutional capacity to adequately patrol and monitor borders. They also required technical assistance and training support. For eight years, UN member states have been considering how to stem the small arms trade. In Britain, a search for a missing Dominican man facing deportation who jumped from a ship was called off overnight. Two men aged 37 and 38 from the Dominican Republic jumped from a refrigerated cargo vessel on Monday evening in Portsmouth in southern England. One man was rescued from the water and detained by the UK border agency, but the other is still missing despite an extensive search. The agency confirmed that the men had stowed away on the ship and were first detained when it docked on Sunday. They were denied entry into the country and were returned to the fruit ship to be deported back to the Dominican Republic. The authorities in Venezuela say they have taken control of a private bank, Banco Federal, after discovering evidence of what they call serious financial problems. The bank's owner, Nelson Mezerian, says he is being targeted for political reasons by the government of President Hugo Chavez. Mr. Mezerian is also a director of an opposition television station, Global Vision, whose owner was named in an arrest warrant last week. And that is your Caribbean Brief for Tuesday, June 15th. Thanks for watching. Information for today's weather report is prepared by the National Meteorological Service. Relatively moist and unstable conditions continue to dominate the weather over our area. The general forecast for Belize and her coastal waters is for some cloudy spells with a few showers and isolated thunderstorms over southern areas tonight and tomorrow morning. Winds over the open sea and along the coast will be easterly to southeasterly at 10 to 20 knots with occasional higher gusts. The sea state will be moderate, becoming rough at times. Operators of small craft should exercise caution. Low temperatures tonight will be around 80 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast, 73 degrees Fahrenheit inland and a cool 68 degrees Fahrenheit up in the hills. High temperatures on Wednesday will range from 89 degrees Fahrenheit along coastal areas to 93 degrees Fahrenheit inland. It will be a warm 82 degrees Fahrenheit up at the exposed areas of the mountain pine ridge. The tides. There will be a low tide at a minute to 8 o'clock tonight. This will be followed by a high tide at 11 minutes past the 2 o'clock tomorrow morning. The sun will rise at 18 minutes past 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. It will set at 28 minutes past 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. The extended forecast, valid through to Thursday afternoon, is for some cloudy spells with a few showers over most areas. And that is a look at the weather with information provided by forecaster Michael Gentle at the Belize Weather Bureau. Information for today's weather report was prepared by the National Meteorological Service. Those are the stories we have for you today on Love Television. Our thought conditioner today comes from the writings of personal injury lawyer Barry Monroe. He wrote, and we quote, You are only as strong as your purpose. Therefore, let us choose reasons to act that are big, bold, righteous, and eternal. End of quote. If you would like to contribute a comment or suggest a quotation for use in this segment of the news, all you have to do is write us an email. The address is news at lovetv.com.vz. Thank you for joining us. I am Patrick Jones. Have a good evening and a good night.